Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com as always, but it's not always that I'm bringing you a brand new product that we just came out with, but today is one of those days. We have the Down For Sound JP34 Class AB. All right guys, let's get into this video. I'm super pumped about this. We've been waiting on this amplifier to come in for a while. Did a lot of different changes on it and upgrades and we wanted to make sure, obviously it's something that we're bringing to the market that's gonna be awesome for you at a great price point. So, let's open this up. Well, first, we're gonna go over Class AB. Um, this Class AB is gonna give you better sound quality than a Class D amplifier. I'll leave it at that. If you want to know the details of it, go over and subscribe to Williston Car Audio Labs and check out his channel. He does all of our dyno videos and he, he knows all the ins and outs of the amplifiers and stuff in detail. So if you wanna learn a lot about Car Audio, be sure to check him out. So RMS power at four ohms, 134 by four. Again, this is a class AB amplifier. So usually class ABs are bigger and they don't put out as much power as a class D, but they sound great at the power that they do put out. So again, 134 by four at 14.4 is the uh, power rating. And also you can check out the dyno video on this amplifier from uh, Williston Car Audio Labs. RMS power at two ohms is gonna be 200 by four. If I had to guess, you're gonna get an extra 20 or 30 watts on top of these numbers right here. That's just my guess, but I could be wrong. So be sure to check out the dyno video. RMS power at four ohms bridge, 500 by two. Dimensions, we're gonna go over that once we take it out. Um, so the rest of it's kind of standard operating procedures. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Do we have class AB technology lives? So it is live. Man, so many people. We took these to, I think we took like 20 of these to Slamology, sold every last one of them. People are coming by picking up two, three, sometimes five amps at a time. It's crazy. I mean, crazy awesome, but it's just crazy how people are loving the old school flare to these. So if you get one of these, this is what it's gonna look like right here inside the wrapping. And we will go ahead and slide it out of the wrap. Get your Allen keys. Again, this is a four channel amplifier. It is not, you'll have people saying, oh, where's the bass knob? Like, bro, this is a mid range amp. Like, what are you gonna do with a bass knob? So no, there's no bass knob. Wait, let me flip this over. I don't ever know to do the this side or this side. This is a beautiful purple. We'll, we'll go with this side first. All right, let's slowly unveil this bad boy. What a beautiful amplifier. This is actually my first time seeing this and holding one in person. They came in while I was out of the country and I missed it by a day. So I think I flew out on Friday or Saturday to go to Cabo San Lucas and I, um, the container showed up at our door Monday morning so I missed it. Everybody else got to see them. I was getting, seeing pictures of people opening them up before I even got to see them. So a lot of you got to see it before I did. So this is actually my first time actually kind of handling one and seeing the beauty of this amplifier but everybody's been super stoked about how they turned out. So we have this beautiful purple color that I didn't think I was going to be a fan of, but man, it looks super nice. We got the uh, laser etching for the Down For Sound logo and the JP34AB model number down here. And go ahead and flip it around right here. So on this side, we have the power and ground, which is gonna be four gauge. Again, this isn't a insanely powerful amplifier. It's for mids and highs, so you really don't need zero gauge inputs on this. Four gauge is more than adequate. Then you have your power protecting clip lights, just like we have on all of our amplifiers, so you know if you're getting into clipping or not, just don't be clipping, man. If you're clipping, you're tripping. Over here, you got your eight gauge speaker wires. I'll go ahead and flip this around and show you the crossover side. And again, if you want all the details on the crossover side and all the nitty gritty, be sure to check out the video from Williston Audio Labs. He can tell you a lot more about these than I'm going to take the time to tell you because he's very knowledgeable in that. So we got the Tiffany style RCA connections. You got your gain. You got your high pass filter. You got a low pass filter. Channels 1, 2, and 3, and 4. You got your times 10 multipliers. So that's going to be the 
light end of the crossover section for this amplifier. Let's go ahead and flip it over and show you what a Class AB amplifier looks like on the inside. Is it upside down? It is upside down. Let me make sure we get that right for you. All right, so you can see we got the little cap stickers on top of the caps right here, but as far as the amplifier, you can notice one thing about it that you may have not seen on any of our other amplifiers besides the 13.2. So this amplifier has two fans on it. Why is this? Because Class AB tends to run hotter than a Class D amplifier. So it's going to put out cleaner power. It's going to give you a cleaner sound, but it's going to get warmer doing it. So you always want to make sure you have adequate spacing around this amplifier you can kind of tell if you look at it let me see so you can see there's you see right here there's a gap up under there so on our end plates over here we purposely make them a little bit longer to hold the amplifier up off of whatever surface you're mounting it to please don't mount your amps to your subwoofer box for the love of the base guys please don't mount your amplifiers to your subwoofer box this is one of the number one failures of that causes amplifiers to fail so mount them somewhere else not on your subwoofer amp or subwoofer box so anyway you can see right there we have that <clears throat> that gap up under there allowing them to breathe so they can get better cooling and instead of having one fan we added another massive fan on there to move as much air through this amplifier as possible so we can try to keep it cool but this is going to be the introductory video for the JP34 class AB amplifier what a beautiful amplifier so let's go ahead and measure this bad boy so you know what you're getting into let me flip this over real quick it's out of the way get out of the way so let's see we got that about locked in on that end plate so from end plate uh, to the mounting foot right here, to the mounting foot on the other side, 21 inches is what you're looking at. Actually, the speaker terminal hangs over a slightly past, so let's go with 21 and a half. 21 and a half on the length. Then on the height, we're gonna go with 2 and a, two and three quarters, two and a half, two and three quarters, somewhere in there. And then the width, we're looking at upside now, right at seven and a half inches, seven and three quarters on the width. So seven and three quarters by two and a half by 21 is going to give you the measurements on the amplifier. Some people told me I was crazy for pricing it so low, but it's less than $300. For this amplifier class AV technology sound quality and actually big d wizard derek williston just made a post about this amplifier he is completely blown away by it um i'll see if we can grab a screenshot of his facebook post actually let me do a little quotation from what he said earlier today so i'll share a little bit with you right here on his Facebook page. It says, now that I've had some listening time with the Downford Sound Shop JP34AB, I have some thoughts. I'll expand more in the upcoming video, but I put this amp on my favorite bookshelf speakers this morning and was initially concerned. Mids and highs were good, but no lows. Let me double check the wiring. Yep, check this out. This guy is a, a long time car audio person, a long time person in audio. This lets you know that anybody can make an error, anybody can make a mistake and like just have a brain fart basically. So if somebody's been doing it, cause we, we hear from these people all the time, I've been installing our audio for 30 years, like bro, like things happen. So this is a prime example. So he says, yep, left channel positive and negative were wrong. Fix this and holy shit, literally, holy shit, this amp brought my ELAC bookshelf speakers to life. I listened for 30, or so minutes using my favorite tracks. Then I decided might as well hook up the channels three and four to the quad, the kicker quad box that he has. Mind blown, mind blown. This has got to be the deal of the year. This amp sounds amazing. I was so blown away. I could not wait to tell you all. I listened for another hour and was smiling the entire time. 
So this, guys, again, this is less than $300, but it won't be that way forever. If you want a great sounding Class AB four channel amplifier, be sure to check it out. You can use Big D, uh, sorry, Derek Williston's um, link if you want to. If you're a follower of his, go to his YouTube video, support him by buying through his affiliate link. I would appreciate that. Try to show my affiliates as much love as possible for their hard work. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this but super excited about this amplifier. If you'd like to check it out and support me through this video, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. It'll take you directly to this amplifier on my website. I guarantee you, you'll love it. Appreciate your time. If you have any questions regarding it, post them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one, later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.